Wow, I'm sick. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today is a really big morning. I have created an event with 445 Run Club who have Run Club events all over the world, all over the globe. But today, all of New Zealand is doing Run for Survivors, an event that I created with 445 to raise money for sexual assault survivors. Right now it's 4 a.m., 10 past four. I need to be in the city in 20 minutes. My dad and I are currently getting petrol on our way. He's just coming to support. He never comes to Run Club, um, but he just wanted to come along today. Olo. Um. Hello. Padre, say hi to the vlog. Howdy. He's got his blue on. Oh, hang on. Ta-da! I have my blue on too. Well, blue and green. So we have to wear blue. Okay, well, I need to go. Yeah, we better match. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna be late. Okay, bye-bye! Anyway. <coughs> In case you can't tell, I'm deathly ill. And I would not be running at all. Let alone speaking. I forgot to add that. I am speaking at the event today. I would not be speaking or running today. I would be in bed dying if it wasn't for the fact that I ran the event. So we'll see how I go. I feel really sick right now. I haven't had food, I haven't had water, I haven't had anything, but we'll see. Morning the team, it's now 4.37 and I'm walking up. I've got my got the donation boxes. It is really cold. Here we go. Comes our intrepid heroine now. How goes the collections? There okay. you go. Do you smell? Do you smell? In there? In there? I have the fun job of putting this all in the machine later. Nice. <laughs> I literally cannot breathe out my nose. It's been good vibes all around. Everyone's energy is like at like an all time high, which I love, especially because it's like 5 a.m. in the morning. The full moon is also out. Three quarters of the way done, give or take. Um, morning, guys. Three quarters of the way done, give or take. I, I've kind of been doing interval sprints, number one, again. I'm very sick. I don't think I'm going to be able to go to work today, to be honest. And number two, because I've been stopping every now and then to vlog and get footage, because this is oh, a good event. And as much as I want to run, I run every week. I think right now, like, being in the moment, capturing it, and making sure I can breathe, <coughs> is probably more important. I haven't felt this sick in like a year, not gonna lie, but it's really good. We are now on the last kilometer. This is my favorite part because we can see the city lights and it's just so pretty. There's the water. Right over there is the city lights. So pretty. It is starting to spit with rain and I'm just praying that it doesn't pour because every other week, like the past three weeks, it's poured with rain. And um, if it pours with rain, I have no way of covering you guys. So <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't rain.
finished our run. This is Meg. Hello, team. This is Meg. She is one of the people who run 445 in the morning. Do you want to tell them a little bit about like 445 and a little bit about how long you've been doing it? Yes, so 445 is a run club that started around two and a half years ago now. And the whole idea is that it creates a community for like-minded people to get together and do something difficult and hard, which is waking up at the very early hours on a Friday morning to come for a run, a walk, or a jog at 4.45 a.m. And it's just a really great space to meet a bunch of people that have the same kind of mindset mm. as you. Um, and yeah, I've pretty much been here for two and a half years. So That's literally still amazing. Going strong. And like, it definitely is the crack of dawn. Like, <laughs> it's dark out. It's the sun dark has not risen. What do you love about running and like fitness? Um, for me, I love running because I just love how it makes me feel. Yeah. I like that you can see your progress and you see yourself getting better. But also, it really does introduce you to a lot of people. A lot of people think running's a solo sport, but I've never been in a sport or doing something that's moving my body that has actually given me more relationships. Mm, so yeah, for me, how it makes me feel and the friendships I made. I love that. Yeah. And I feel like because it's such an intense like thing, you kind of have respect for other runners. Yeah, for sure. You know, when you meeting them so it's easier to kind of have that community base. What did you think of today's event? Um, how do you think it went and um, what are your main takeaways? I think today's event was a big success. I, we were both kind of saying we were surprised at how many people actually showed up in blue so and like surprised. the amount of donations that we got. Um, I've also got so much positive feedback. Like I think it really opened up a conversation and a topic for a lot of people that 100%. they otherwise wouldn't realize or they've just not been exposed to. But it also created more of like a safe space and a bit of a haven for people that maybe have experienced something mm. to kind of come forward and know that they're not alone and that 100%. there are people to reach out to. And I think that was the main goal. Like here at 445, yeah. we want people to create connections, to build friendships that they have tried Boston, and I think yeah. that's really like I think this did that so yeah, yeah and I feel like there was such a good like energy on the run today like did you feel that yeah 100%. I felt like everyone was so motivated and like there was a sense of community that hasn't been there like as much the other yeah. weeks but I really felt it today for sure and there's just so been good. so much positive feedback and people yeah. like really getting vulnerable with each yeah. other and it's been it's like giving me goosebumps I know, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like exciting. the best way to start the morning for yeah. sure yeah oh, no, so we good. appreciate Ash for coming Thank along you. and sharing her experiences because it's a fucking hard thing to do oh sorry Matt. <laughs> I want her butt <laughs> But yeah, it's been great and obviously we're super excited to be supporting a good one here. Yeah, literally come to 445. <laughs> yeah. There's branches all across the globe. Yeah, we've got uh, London, New York, English. London, lots of locations in Australia and also across NZ. Yeah, yeah. come to 445. Oh, Woohoo! <laughs>
seen by the public in that vulnerable sense like that's a big risk to take to say the least i don't even know how many people were there to be honest uh 100 120 yeah like 100 ish i'm ha i'm happy and it was really nice to get that positive feedback from people you know it's just sparking that conversation in our community which i think is so important and i just wanted to spark conversations i feel like that's exactly what happened it is. so i feel like it's a win it i feel win. so good but man i was like nervous and like not feeling good this morning because again i'm like so deathly ill. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna go to Cherbe, which if you don't know Cherbe, go search them up on Instagram right now because they're bloody amazing. It's like my new favorite Auckland cafe. Every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday. You go every Friday to get a matcha with coconut milk. I freaking love it. But we're gonna go there now, get some matcha, get some coffee, mm. warm up because it is cold and it did start raining a little bit. Oh, we also finished with gratitude circles, which is really nice. We do that every week. Um, but I feel like it's just a nice way to like round off the run and the session. Yeah, round off good. the run, round off the week. Yeah, start, round off the start, week. Your, start your Friday, which is normally a good day with something positive yeah. as well. Exactly, exactly. How far did you run? <laughs> Not as far as I should have. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably like only 6k. That's decent. I mean, we did 6k last week. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, I was hoping for more, but just gas. Right. Gas this morning. I think I did like 5k, but I did stop quite a lot. So 5k in like 40 minutes. That's not bad. So do you sick? Yeah. Also, like, because it's like kind of my event as well. I felt the pressure to like run. Yeah, you would. You so would. <laughs> Especially like with people too, passing like, me and like being like, yeah. <laughs> but you have to film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have to film, so, you have to catch it. <laughs> so it's so understandable. I was so glad I had the camera so I could just like, if I was dying and like couldn't breathe and coughing, I could just like stand there and vlog for a little bit <laughs> and hype other people up. Oh my God, it was so fun. I'm going to get hangry soon. So we're going to go mm. get some coffee. Yeah, no, that's definitely something that needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see you when we get there. <laughs> Bye! I'm vibing. Tasting notes of what you say? Cherry and milk chocolate. Cherry and milk chocolate. So I'm gonna see if I can taste it. There we go. Every time normally I do this, I just say it tastes like coffee. First I smell it. Oh it smells a little bit it smells a little bit sweeter today. Nah, it tastes like coffee. <laughs> the aftertaste tastes like coffee. I feel like it tastes like a little bit chocolatey and cherry-ish. Maybe just because you prompted me to... I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> but it tastes different than yesterday. A little different batch as well, different roast. Yeah, that one tastes different. But it still tastes like coffee to me. I don't know how you can tell the difference. It's kind of magic. Explosion. Exposure. Coffee explosion. Yeah, yeah, we are more of a coffee connoisseur, but that's just not me, so... Okay. 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 Maybe we'll get me there. We yeah. shall see. We have to get me to like the taste of coffee first. <laughs> um... Oh. 
<laughs> so I haven't updated the vlog actually, but I am in Auckland, New Zealand now. I'm living with my family. I realized I wanted to like close my chapter in New Zealand fully before like moving my whole life overseas. And I just needed some time with family after everything that happened, living alone, training so much I just needed a moment to like decompress be present with family and like close my chapter in New Zealand mm. but um New Zealand is beautiful in the sense that like we're so connected with nature the pace here is so much slower the work-life balance is so much better but oh my god I'm bored <laughs> guys I'm so bored not enough going on I mean I live in the country which is beautiful and I love it but I have it's been gorgeous. living there for like 18 years so I don't know how you can get bored of the country. Give me a small town that's like full of community. It's like you walk down the street and you see all like five different people that you know. No. <laughs> oh yeah, we're picking up Ben's car. We're gonna go get his car and then I have to get all of the donations that we got today. Gold coins, notes, etc. I gotta process them all before I have work this evening. So guys, it's, it's Ben. It's, it's super raw. Go. <laughs> I'm forcing him to vlog. Go. She's being mean to me, Al. Where am I going? Um, anyway, every way, don't now. get crushed by cars. Go, you gotta tell them what we just did. Uh, what did we just do? I'm so distracted now. We've just come back from coffee, as you can probably tell, because I'm super energized now. I was dead before coffee. We're both hangry. Oh, so hangry. And the coffee was good, because it's at Cherbe, and it's one of my favorite, like, home places. Yeah, you gotta tell them you used to work there, yeah. too. I know. I used to work there. I was part of the first crew, friends with the owners, have been for a while. They helped me in a quite a terrible spot so it's so good to support them and get back there and they know their stuff about coffee there's calves that don't and the calves that do and then once you find the calves that do stick to it because coffee that is good man it is worth the world <laughs> apart from people that don't like coffee and I just go no nah, it just tastes like coffee <laughs> to me it's like it tastes like you got dirt and you put it in the oven and you burnt it and then you put hot water into it like that's what it tastes like <laughs> uh-huh so tell us more about the tasting notes of your crushed up green leaves that you put milk and water in <laughs> Let's talk about my matcha latte. I always get <laughs> marches. They're so good though. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, you go. I freaking love marches. They're so good. Yeah. Guys, I hate driving in the city. City. <laughs> he keeps making fun of my Aussie twang. <laughs> it's so fun. Cherbe were the ones who donated the vouchers today. We had three $25 vouchers to give away to people who donated the most money to help Auckland, which is the charity we were raising money for and to people who are best dressed so it went away to three women today mm. actually I wanted to give one to a guy but uh, none of them pulled through with the all blue that I oh, could see there was there was one guy that could have been a really good person and just stopped you at the run was like yeah I yes. had, a, had a situation but we just couldn't find him it was such, such a letdown Fred. yeah Fred I wanted to get Fred, Fred the voucher but actually I didn't think of it but Ben suggested that I realized I should have given him the voucher. I got really hangry too. <laughs> yeah, she did. So I've been warning Ben, I get mega hangry. Like it's so bad that my best friend will bring snacks if we go out somewhere. Cause mm. like stage one, I shut off. And it's like the only time I'm silent cause I'm quite a talker. And then, <laughs> and then stage two, I like get really sleepy. And then stage three is when you have to worry. I start to get a little bit snappy. Snappy. Look. I was getting a bit snappy. Yeah. A little bit Sorry. short, beer snacks, chocolate cup and almonds with... To feed me. <laughs> yeah. Give, give Ash like emergency chocolate cup and almonds. It's specifically, a brand. Yeah, specifically the ones that are covered in like... I don't know where Raspberry I'm dust. I'm going straight. That way. I'm lost. Always. That's why I'm here. It's not sugar free, but it, that's the only thing I will eat it's, with sugar. It is dark chocolate though, so it's not overly like, refined still well naturally one of my favorite sugar-free chocolate brands they do chocolate covered almonds and they're really good but they're just a bit harder to find in New Zealand I'm sick I need my 10 hours of sleep don't settle, don't for, the settle bare for the bare minimum everyone 